Well, here's a really cool Fairchild Shenlith emulator that's been written in Pico 8. This is incredibly cool. Now, it still is a little wonky. Uh, it works better with the keyboard controls. The joysticks work in most of the games, but some of them are kind of confusing and trying to figure out how they work. But this is actually a really cool emulator. It has the ability to drag and drop ROMs into the emulator on this window to play the games. So it's a really good way to experience the Channel F if you want to give it a try. Very simple uh, interface to use. So it comes pre-programmed with Pac-Man. Doodle-loop. Which is a really cool homebrew game. Uh, it's an official, unofficial cartridge video cart 26. Uh, I love Pac-Man on the Fairchild Channel F. It's, it's very well done. It's a really cool game. So let's go ahead and start it up here. One player. Oh, that's awesome. Go, Pac-Man, go. Waka, 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 waka. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get some ghosties. Chop them. Chop the ghost. Chop the ghost. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes! It's not bad. I mean, it's actually a pretty good version of Pac-Man on this old console. I always wish that they made Pac-Man for the channel left back in the day. I played a lot on my, on my uh, Atari 2600 until I got my Atari computer then I started playing it on there. But always love the Channel F. The Channel F has a special uh, place for me in my heart. It's one of the first consoles I owned that I had in my room. Uh-oh, I got cornered. You've been ghosted. Anyway, now if you want to play any of the ROMs, what you have to do is you have to load the BIOS files first. So S... L31253. Just drag and drop it over. And then SL31254 for the second BIOS. There we go. So now it's ready to go. So we're going to try one of my favorite games I used to play on my channel left. Where'd it go? Pinball Challenge. Oh, yeah. Game one. Start her up. There we go. Mode 1, green 14. There we go. Throw the ball. Now, even though they call it Pinball Challenge, it's actually Breakout. I mean, even the artwork on the front of the Video Cart 17 box showed a pinball game. And I remember, I remember when my dad got this, brought it home. I thought it was going to be a, a video pinball type game, and when I played it, I saw it was Breakout. I was a little disappointed, but not too bad. Because I really like Breakout as well. And even though it's not controlled by a paddle, using your uh, your controller, your joystick, it plays really, really well. Now, I used to get up really early, uh, before school, have my breakfast, get everything ready to go. And I'd give myself about a half hour to be able to play this game before I had to watch for the old school bus. I play this a lot in the mornings before school. And quite a bit on the weekends as well. I play late into the night on Friday nights. One of my favorite games on the uh, Channel F. As I said before, you know, the Channel F, I really, really love. I did a podcast series on it called the Channel F Files. I was actually able to interview one of the uh, engineers that worked on the system as well. So it's in the podcast I uh, put together. Did a video series on the different games, talk about stories and history of them. Always like getting the ball on top. Ding 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 ding. -ding. I like when the score gets ahead of the ball. <laughs> or the ball legs behind the score. Okay, I can get away from this game. I'll be, I'll be playing it the whole video. Let's do another one I really enjoyed. Robot War and Torpedo Alley. We'll start with Torpedo Alley. 
Yep, start. So basically all you're doing is you're shooting these little ships here. They got different point values with the more higher point ships towards the bottom. I think I just I think I just lied to you. I think they got it reversed. I think the more expensive ships are at the top in this game. I can hit the side of a barn. Or in this case, the side of a ship. Yeah, it's sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> I get that confused. Anyway. Now I can change the angle of my gun by using the S and F keys. I usually do better hitting the targets using an angle angle shot than I do with a straight on shot. For some reason. Don't know why. Let's see if we get oh, oh, oh I fired a little bit too early. Got a bunch of those little mine things in the middle. We ain't gonna hit anything now. Willie lying like crazy. Says he can shoot better than an angle and he still can't hit things. What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> anyway. Let's try Robot War. This is kind of like, you know, Robot Keep Away. you got to keep away from the robots from, from catching you. you got to lead them into those little squares. Now, the really fast version of this game is really insane. There we go. Awesome. And each time the robot hits you, you lose one of your squares. <laughs> It's a pretty cool game. At least I like it. And got him. All right, let's try another game here in the same one later. Watch out, we'll try another favorite of mine. Where is it? Where'd it go? Alien Invasion. Space Invaders. This was the last video cart made for the Channel F by Zircon. The copy I got a hold of, I went with my dad up to Chicago uh, to Zircon and picked this game up from up there. And I was so excited to get this game home to play. Now I got to start in two players. For some reason, I can't use the other base. It, it works, but you can't fire. So I don't know if something's going on with the emulator or what, but at least you can play it in this mode here. It just stops until the other base runs out of lives. But this is a pretty good version of Space Invaders. I mean, it's not as good as the 2600 version, which is my all-time favorite home console version of Space Invaders. But I still played this quite a bit on my channel F. I like the different invaders, especially the ones towards the uh, center right there. It looks like a uh, that clown from Clowns and Balloons, that stick figure. This game also has a neat little Easter egg. I can't forget how you get it to happen, but the UFO will turn into the programmer's initials, which is pretty cool. There, we got rid of the blue base, so now it won't stop again. Oh, oh. Come on, UFO, come on out. I dare you. Oh, I gotta go shoot this guy over here. I was gonna cut up pretty quick. Oh no. There we go. Get her speeding up. Where's UFO? Get the UFO! Yes! The UFO has been destroyed. Boy, we're getting faster. Oh jeez. Just like the arcade game. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <sighs> Willie is victorious. All right, let's try another game here. We'll try. Let's see if there's another one here. He's like, oh, I know what one I want to play. Where'd he go? Video cart number four. Remember right? Well, I can't find it. Back in the baseball, bowling, boxing, blah, 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 blah. Desert Fox shooting gallery, no, no. Hangman, measure the math quiz. Pinball challenge. 
Spitfire. There it is. Boop. Game number one. Fight the Red Baron. Oh, start. Oh, it's like the wrong one. I think it was game number two. There it is. Yeah, got him. <laughs> now this game, what I used to like to do is I used to uh, cut out like uh, clouds out of construction paper and we tape them to the screen so we could hide in the clouds when I played two players. It made the game a lot more challenging when you could see where the other player was. My dad wasn't too thrilled, though. Kept finding tape residue on the screen. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, he got me. <laughs> and, of course, another one we used to like to play on here, another favorite game of mine, was bowling. Game number one. one. Okay, I think this is the slow version here. Maybe I'll do halfway decent. Yeah, there we go. And up and curve it in. Oh! Almost got it. Got a spare, though. I used to play this game a lot as well. There's like a certain zone that you could hit to get a strike almost every time. And I can almost get there because I keep getting a lot of spares. It's been a number of... Uh, it's been quite a while since I've played this game. To remember where that strike zone is. Oh no! Not the split. That was not good. Oh man, got to split again. Come on, get a strike, Willie. Get a strike. Not the split. A strike. Oh, man. Almost got a spare on that one. There we go. Got a strike. And there. And vroom. Ah. Oh. See if I can pick up a spare. Nope. Ah. Oh. Well, at least I'll get a spare. Come on, come on, get a strike, get a strike. No, 143. <laughs> okay, let's play one more game of the simulator. We'll play the Tetris Homebrew. This is actually a pretty good, pretty good game. Okay, so I gotta hit the S and F. To rotate the pieces. It's cool having Tetris on the channel left. Yay, I won because he lost. Let's try uh I'll try one that keeps running here. I can't remember what does what here. Game one no, no. Hang on a second here. I just want to play one player. Here, let's do this. Maybe that'll work. Uh-oh. Nope, that didn't work. Put it back. Oh, no. I jinxed myself. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! <laughs> I need to read the instructions to learn how to play a one-player Tetris. <laughs> anyway, this is actually pretty cool. Hopefully there's some more uh, updates to this to, uh, to uh, add some more features to it, uh, make it a bit easier to use the rotate function using the joystick, maybe improve the joystick controls on it. But I, I have no complaints. It's actually kind of cool to spend a little time with the channel F again. Anyway, it's a really cool uh, Fairchild Channel F emulator on the Pico 8. As always, everyone, 
Thanks for watching.